प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम सीट नंबर वन विच इज कंस्ट्रक्ट अ स्क्वायर रेग्युलर पेंटागॉन हेक्सागॉन हेप्टागॉन एंड ऑक्टागॉन इन अ सेम फिगर टेकिंग ए बी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एम एम एज अ कॉमन साइड इन दिस यू कैन सी यू हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ पोलीगॉन्स वट इज पोलीगॉन मीन्स पोलीगॉन मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू थ्री साइड थ्री इक्वल साइड एंड मस्ट बी क्लोज सो दैट इज कॉल एज अ पोलीगॉन पोलीगॉन इट स्टार्ट विद द ट्राइंगल बिकॉज इट हैज अ थ्री साइड so if you construct a triangle with the three equal side it is called as a polygon and circle is a also a polygon with the n number of side n number of side that means if you zoom it if you zoom a circle uh, the smallest part or the distance between two point is a looks like a straight line and it is called as a polygon as well so triangle then a square it so has a four side okay uh, and uh, go, goes on so these are the example of polygons but the uh, main definition of polygon it is uh, you have to just remember greater than or equal to three sides three equal sides and must be close so this is a polygon you have to construct this polygons in one figure so it's very easy mm, let's start as i said earlier the polygon has a equal side so the dimension of one side is uh, given to you which is 50 mm so first of all construct a 50 mm line so this distance is 50 mm so which is a and b next step is you have to bisect it so now to bisect a line you have to measure this distance draw above the line and draw below the line same you have to find out the intersecting point above and below so now join them so this is your mid point line you can see i draw these lines with very thin lines so you have to follow these rules as well so this is a thin line you have to follow because our main objective is to construct a polygons so these are the construction line so construction line must be thin line so this is was m is your mid point now draw a line with the same dimension like 50 mm and perpendicular to this line like this so you have to construct this line so this point is your c point now join them joint a and c and by using rounder by using rounder construct put pointer on b a and b is your radius that is 50 mm is your radius and draw an arc like this so you have to draw an arc like this so you have to construct these lines i'll repeat myself you have to construct this ab then draw midpoint line vertical line this line diag diagonal line and you have to construct a curvature with a 50 mm radius and b as a center so this point is point number 4 and this point is point number 6 now you have to find out the point number 5 in between so to find a point you have to bisect this two lines this two points so measure this distance measure this distance make an arc on this direction like this and on this direction and put pointer over here and make an arc like this and this and find out the intersecting points and join them the second method is you can measure this distance and uh, if this distance is let's say 1.8 okay so Uh, 9 mm is your midpoint, so you can find out this as well. But uh, most of the time, you can you cannot uh, measure this distance with the prop accuracy. So 
this point is point number five so we got four five and six so these points indicate the number of sides of polygon which you want to construct on this figure so if you want to construct a four side polygon which is a square then you have to use number four if you want to construct pentagon you have to use five if you want to use a hexagon then you have to use six so now next is heptagon and octagon so seven and eight how to uh, obtain this seven and eight you have to extend this bisecting line like this measure this four and five four and five accurately put pointer on six make an arc on these lines so this point is point number seven and this point is eight you can see the distance between 4, 5, 6, 5, uh, 5, 6, 6, 7 and 8, 7, 8 must be equal. So that's how we construct it. Okay. So this is the numbers you have to got. So now let's start with the pentagon. So to construct a pentagon, first of all, you have to measure a distance of 5 to A. 5a is your radius 5a 5a is your radius 5 is a center and construct a circle construct a circle like this so to check whether you are going in right direction or not you have to check it by using this you can see this circle must be passed from b and a because 5 and a is a radius this is your midpoint line so midpoint line uh, the distance between 5a and 5b is equal so this is the checking point now measure this distance a b which is our side 50 mm measure this distance put pointer on a make an arc on the curvature and then continue till you got point b okay so you have to get up to point b so this point is a let's say this is a point two three four and five number side now join them joined every points with the thick line because you can see these are the sides you want okay so draw a pentagon with the thick lines So this is the pentagon which we want okay so this is the pentagon now uh, if you want to draw hexagon hexagon is a six side so same same method you have to follow for each and every uh, polygons like 6a 6a is my radius you can see 6a is my radius 6 is a center and make an arc like this you have to construct a full circle which must be passed from B which must be passed from B now A B as a radius same A as a center make an arc on the circle make an arc on the circle like this and at the end point it must be passing from point number B now join them as well So this is the hexagon same for 
uh, heptagon and octagon okay so this is for uh, your homework septagon and uh, heptagon and octagon